In this chapter, we'll take a look at how we can store data using the data function of jQuery. So jQuery's data method gives us the ability to associate arbitrary data with DOM nodes and JavaScript objects. This makes our code more concise and clean. As of jQuery 1.4.3, we also have the ability to use the method on regular JavaScript objects and listen for changes, which opens the doors to some quite interesting applications. Now let's take a look at the basics of the data method. Over here in our script file, we have this line which says for this given div site i'm trying to store a key value so the key is simply a key and then this is the value that is stored using the data method now the method call is very convenient as it allows you to include it as a part of a chain now when you use the data method you need to pass two parameters a key and a value to be stored so that is what we are doing over here a key we are passing and a value the key has to be a string and the value can be any data structure including functions, arrays and objects. There is an alternative syntax as well in which you pass an object as a single parameter. So if I have to pass an object over here, what I can do is, let's create one. So I'll say var student and let's have some value associated with this, student not name equals to Kumar and student dot subject equal to jQuery so here I have created one student object and if I have to store this for the same div I'll simply copy this line of code and over here I can say student as a key and then this is student I can pass as object over here and later on when I have to retrieve it I can do so by passing the key and getting the associated object for that key so if I have to read it I can simply do it in this fashion let's say console dot log and inside this I will simply say data and then I'll use the key that was used to store I'll say student and over here it will be shown in the log so let's take a look over here by visiting this page in browser so over here you can see that the object is being shown name and name as core and subject as jQuery so this is how you retrieve object you can even store this one in a variable and then further use it in your program as of jQuery 1.4.3 HTML5 data attributes are also made available via the data method this means that if you have an element let's say over here we have an element or an anchor tag so for this I can use the data attribute using so for this one what I can do is I will make use of the same anchor tag so this anchor tag let's give it a class and if I have to access this over here I'll simply say console.log and then dollar the class name that we have for this is your anchor and then I'll say data and the key will be over here ETTR and if I run this now in browser you can see that over here start learning today is coming as the value so pretty much you don't have to you know um, always store it in this fashion you can make use of HTML5 data attributes and you can define it along with the element itself and then access it later whenever you require it we can also use the data methods on JavaScript objects and if I have to show it let's have the same student object and over here I'll say student dot data and then I can associate some arbitrary uh, you know data with this so I'll say let's say city and let's say we write it like this and save it so this data is now associated with the student object and uh, let's check it out whether it's being returned by console or not so if I have to say student and then data and the data will data is city over here as you can see so if this value is returned Okay, over here, I think I made a bit of slight syntax error. So I have to pass the student using the jQuery notation, then 
associate the data and same I have to do over here as well so now let's check this one in browser and what result it's showing so you can see that Lucknow is printed which was associated with the student JavaScript object